Good morning, this is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. US equities finished lower in Monday trading, ending near their worst levels. Investors are anticipating what could be a volatile week of trading ahead of Fed Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's latest comments on inflation at the central bank's annual Jackson Hole meeting. Latest Reuters poll of economists highlighted expectations for the Fed to hike 50 basis points next month in line with market pricing. In Europe, a number of concerns are focused on natural gas prices hitting record highs overnight amid the latest update from Russia that it would stop Nord Stream pipeline for three days of maintenance this week. Some of the more cautious strategists in the US are increasingly highlighting stretch valuations and risk of a more meaningful deterioration in earning revisions. And China has been forced to cut interest rates again in an effort to bring a little relief to the country's huge construction and real estate sector. The rate, come, rate cut comes as record high temperatures and a severe drought have, have crippled hydro power and prompted the shutdown of many factories in west central China and industrial base. Overnight, the Dow fell 1.9%, the S&P dropped just over 2% and the Nasdaq tumbled 2.55%. Those losses came on the back of a losing week which snapped a four-week winning streak for the S&P 500. Still, the broader market index remains about 13% above its June lows. Across the sectors, tech stocks declined on concerns over more aggressive rate hikes from the Fed. Amazon fell 3.6% and semiconductor stops dropped uh, with Nvidia down around 4.6%. Shares of Netflix was roughly 6% lower following an earnings downgrade. The semiconductor industry is now reportedly bracing for a downturn due to an oversupply of chips, the exact opposite of the challenge it dealt with for the last few years due to COVID. Citigroup told Bloomberg that they expect the coming semiconductor downturn to be in the worst in at least a decade, if not two decades. In Europe, their energy crisis has unleashed a global battle over natural gas tankers, leading to a shortage of ships and further boosting the fuel's record prices. LNG and the tankers that carry the fuel were in high demand even before the Ukrainian conflict as extreme weather curtailed hydropower and many economies sought to ditch coal to reduce carbon emissions. The war has supercharged that trend. The trend is also playing out in the US as Bloomberg reports that New York gasoline inventories are so low that the suppliers are resorting to expensive US vessels to move fuel into the region. Gasoline and diesel tanks in the New York Harbour region are at their emptiest levels in nearly three decades of government record keeping. It appears that the energy crisis is playing out across the globe at present. On the currency front, one Australian dollar is flat, uh, buying 68.76 US cents. On the commodity front, iron ore futures are pointing to a half a percent gain. Gold lost 0.8 of a percent. Silver was down just over 1 percent. Copper was down half a percent. Oil prices bounced off session lows to trade nearly flat in a volatile session on Monday after Saudi Energy Minister said OPEC could cut production to confront market challenges. Oil closed up 0.6%. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.6% fall in the ASX today. This is Tim McGowan. Have a good day.